to share with you about plant reproduction. Now, for plant reproduction, right, it's a, a primary science topic. For many students, uh, you might think that this is a topic that um, perhaps is difficult for you. Now, we're going to look at some exam papers that it is um, that will help you through. So, even as we revise uh, plant reproduction, you will actually be able to recall some of the um, knowledge that your school teacher have taught before and some of the concepts that will actually work with you. Now, let's take a look at this exam paper. Over here, I have this question on plant reproduction. Now, this is an MCQ question. Now, over here, it says that Jenny observed two fruits, R and S, as shown below here. So, it says, based on the diagram above, which of the following shows the most likely dispersal methods of fruit R and fruit S? So, as you can see here, normally when I tell my student to do a MCQ question, I will normally tell them, hey, do you jump me the question straight away? No, you don't jump the question straight away. The very first thing you need to do is identify the topic. Assuming this exam question is right in front of you. I'm sure all of you would know that this question is about plant reproduction. But the second step when you do multiple choice is to highlight the key information. So over here, as presented over the answer, we are supposed to spot the dispersal method. And I will quickly get my student, hey, take out your highlighter and we have to quickly highlight which of the following shows the dispersal method of fruit R and as well as fruit S. Now, as you can see, we are revising the concept on the characteristic of the different seed dispersal. Now, let's recall. There are four types of seed dispersal. Quickly, you can recall that there are dispersal by wind, dispersal by water, and dispersed by explosive action, and also dispersed by splitting. So, out of these four, we this question is asking us uh, as uh, do we are we able to know what are the dispersal method that matches this uh, diagram above? Now most of the time I will tell my student to look at the characteristic. If you take a look at the picture here, now this picture here will actually tell you that there's a fibrous husk and of course there's a hook-like structure. Now these are actually evidence from science that actually help us to be able to answer science question effectively. Now. Most of the time, the information that is presented here uh, is showing us a lot of um, the hint to an answer, I would say. So in this case, when we take a look about the fibrous husk, what can you think of? And you take a look at the um, length as well. Now, before we even jump to answer, let's revise further. Now, do you remember there are four types of seed dispersal? And each type of seed dispersal have a different unique characteristic. For instance, dispersed seed that are dispersed by water, they have a fibrous husk. Now, the purpose of a fibrous husk is to trap air so that you have this seed floating uh, across the water for dispersal. And the next one that we say will be dispersed by water or dispersed by animal. And so dispersed by animal, in order to be dispersed by animal, they have two characteristics. Now, if you can recall with me, the first one will be the seeds will either have hooks and this will be able to allow it to be hooked onto the fur of the animal. And as well as uh, when the animal travel from one place to another, help in dispersal. Another method of characteristic will be is fleshy and juicy. So any of seeds that are fleshy and juicy and fruits, they will attract animals to feed on them. And what happens when the animals actually move from one place to another place? Oops, that is when they poop up the seed, right? And that is when the seed is being dispersed. Of course, the third will be dispersed by wind. Now, seed that are dispersed by wind have either a wing-like structure that is able to fly. Oh, we don't say fly. We say it's able to be carried by the wind to, uh, from one place to another place. Or they are light enough. You know, they have tiny hairs so that, um, you know, they are able to be carried by wind. Of course, you do not expect a big durian to be carried by the wind, right? They do not have that characteristic. So in order for uh, the seeds to be dispersed by wind, it needs to have certain distinct features, a wing-like structure or tiny head. And the last dispersal method is what we say, dispersed by splitting or what we call the explosive action. Right, for explosive action, that means this seed has certain uh, 
crack like structure, they have split line, they are normally dry. Now over here I have some pictures to show you. As you can see on the left side, I have a coconut. Have you ever wondered when you are walking along the beach, whether you are in Thailand, in Malaysia, you, you know, dawn upon you, hey, you see a coconut tree, oops, why did this coconut tree even appear there? That's because of the seed has been dispersed by water. So most of the seed that are dispersed by water, they are found near the river. Alright, they are found near the oceans, the river, the river banks. And this picture clearly shows you that this have a fibrous husk. And most of the time, uh, how can the seed be able to float across? That's because inside the seed, uh, it has already contained air. It's like your swimming float, right? Your swimming float has air. That causes it cause you to be able to float in the water. So similarly, um, seeds that are dispersed by water, they have air in the seed as well as that help them to float. And the other one, uh, as you can see here, is a hook-like structure. Although I have a dog in this picture, and uh, these are little burdock seed that is uh, sticking on the dog. So this is hook-like structure. Most of the time, when dog brushes themselves across um, the, the forest and they run across, some of the seeds that hooks will hook onto their fur. And when they move from places to places, guess what happened? This help it in the seed dispersal method. So as such, the answer tells us that uh, fibrous husk is dispersed by water and hook-like structure is dispersed by animal. Now, for you to be able to do this question, of course, you need to know your concept well. To know your concept well, you have to take a look and memorize, I would say, familiarize the concept of the seed dispersal. What are the characteristics? What are the different characteristics for different seed dispersal? This will help you to be able to do. Now, you must be wondering, um, does the 7cm, 0.8cm length play a part? Yes, look at that, 7cm. Do you expect a 7cm fruit to be dispersed by animals so big? Unless you know you have an animal carrying the seed around. So the centimeter and the length plays a part. It makes sense that 0.8cm is small enough to be carried by the animals uh, around the island. So I hope you understand this question on multiple choice. Remember, always make annotation and always uh, make concepts uh, write down the concepts around the multiple choice question so that you will not make any careless mistake. And therefore, this answer is option number one.